right, so I didn't prepare anything because I don't do that. But I do want to thank you all for being here. And I want to thank you, Jess, because I have seen so many different things about my son. And, you know, I made him, I raised him, right? Like, he writes poetry. Amazing. Um, but the other part is, is that the love I see between the two of you. And I'm very thankful for that. It's like the one thing I think all parents want for their children is for them to have that love and it, to give it and it to be received. And I see that every time I see you guys together. Yes, well, Mr. Anthony. So, as most of you probably know, he's our oldest and first child. And I was thinking back and reflecting when you first brought him home from the hospital, we were so nervous. We were yeah. crazy. We wouldn't let him sleep alone. We slept on the floor beside him because you just don't know. But as he grew older and we had other children, we found out how wonderful he was. And I will tell you, he has a lot of kindness and also what he was probably best at was teaching his little brother and sister everything. He just was always very patient and kind to them. And like my wife said, well, what you really hope for for your child is that they find someone that they're happy with and that will nurture and continue to be happy with the rest of their life. And having spent much time with Jessica and Anthony, it was so apparent how well they were suited and how much they loved each other. And it has just been the greatest pleasure to be here. And I thank you all for coming to be at this wedding of my son and now my daughter. Thank you. <laughs>